I'm constantly closing deals and the last thing I want is to pay $25 a month for yet another subscription like DocuSign just to get a digital signature. So after trying a bunch of so-called free tools, most of which were just limited trials or capped the number of documents you could sign, I finally found one that lets me send dozens of legally binding contracts every month completely free. Plus it's super easy to use and you can add signatures to documents in less than two minutes and then track the status of each contract in a simple document. Dashboard. The tool I'm talking about is BoldSign and a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. To get started, just click the link below and you'll be taken to this page. Then just click start free trial. Then you can sign up with Google, Microsoft or Apple or use your email. Either way, it takes less than a minute to sign up. Now, real quick, I want to show you the pricing to show you that this is actually free. So what we're going to be signing up for is the $0 essentials plan and you get 25 signature requests. And you can see one signature request can include multiple documents, signers, CCs and fields. So even if 10 people sign one document, that's still only one request and you get 25 of those for free and you still get a ton of other features with that for free, like the reminders and authentication and so on and so forth. Like like multiple languages, the mobile apps for iOS and Android, all of it is free. So this is a really generous free plan. So after signing up for BoldSign, you'll be taking your dashboard and here's where you'll actually get a bird's eye view of all your agreements. So you can see what's waiting for you, what's waiting for others. So in this example, this one's already been signed. So you can see here that I signed it and say this person has not yet viewed it. And so we're still waiting on their signature. When they view it, we'll get that update. And then when they move past each stage, we'll see that update. And we can even view the document right here and we can see all the fields that need to be filled. And you can see that this was already signed by me. And so this is just a really easy way to keep track of everything you're signing out, who still needs to sign, and also for legal reasons to keep a running repository of all those contracts so you can refer back to them easily. And you can see right here how many you've used in the free plan. But now let me show you actually how you add digital signatures to these documents. So just go create new, create new document. And then you can just drag in your document. And so we have a Google Ads management agreement. So it's just a sample agreement I'm uploading for us. And if it's the kind of document that needs you to sign it as well, you can just add yourself in one click. And then you just add your recipient. So let's just say it's Kevin to and you add their email address. You can actually set the signing order as well if you want one person to sign before the other. It's optional that you have a CC field if you wanna copy some people on this and you can then title your document. This is just the file names, you can change that and then you can add a message like please review and sign or anything you'd like. Now you'll see branding here and this is the bold sign general branding. It's very neutral. So for most people, it's gonna to be totally fine. But if you do want custom branding, you do need to upgrade your plan. But again, for most people, it'll be fine. And you have some extra options here, like you can allow them to reassign the signer to someone else. So if you send it to them and they're actually not the person with the authority to sign, they can reassign it. And some other options here like the expiry date. And then all you need to do is hit next. And here's where we actually drag in the fields. One thing I like is the color coding. So you're yellow and you can see the other person's green. And if you had more signers, they'd have other colors as well. So all we need to do is just drag in the fields that we want this person to fill in. So you can see I'm dragging in all the text fields for what I'm supposed to fill. And then I am the, in this example, the agency. So I got my signature here and I got the date and the name of the business as well here. And then we just need to switch to our client and we do the exact same thing just as quickly. It takes just a few seconds. You just drag these fields in that you want them to fill. And then when we're done, we can preview it just like this and then hit send. And then once we send that out, we can actually sign our part immediately. And so we would just click here, enter our business name. You can sign it here. We can choose to just choose one of the pre-made ones or you can draw it or upload it. I just use one of the pre-made and it filled in our date. We go next field. Is there anything else for us to fill? Let's say we didn't know which fields. It just walks us through exactly which fields need to be filled. So you can see as we're doing here and then we can go finish. 
and then it is done. And if we go to our dashboard, we can see that it's waiting for the next person. And now let me show you what it looks like for the person you're sending a signature to. It's just as easy. They get an email and they can just hit review and sign. There's no logins or anything. They just have to agree to use electronic signatures and then they fill in their information. They can just pick a signature just like you did. Their date's done and we hit finish. And then if we head back to our dashboard, we can see that that agreement was completed. Now, one other handy feature is the templates feature, and you can just go to new template here. And with this feature, you can save a ton of time if there's agreements you use over and over again. So let's say, for example, that agreement we just sent, we want to make it a template. Then what we're going to do is we just drag it in. And this time we're going to set roles and these roles are going to be like buyer client. And so these fields will dynamically change based on who you're sending it to. So if you have multiple clients each time, they'll be able to fill in their name, but the fields will always be there for them to fill so that you don't have to drag those fields in every time. So let's say the role is buyer slash client and then the next role could be you and you could actually fill in your information ahead of time. So that makes it even easier for you. And then you have some more customization options here. And then you could set a CC. If there's someone on your team, you always want to be notified when this template is sent out. You can change the document title, of course. And there's a few more options here, including branding. And of course you need to name your template and then hit next. And then just like we did earlier, we just simply need to drag in the fields. So you see here, I'm dragging in buyer client. So automatically when you send this out, the person who is the buyer client will have to fill that out. So these are like dynamic fields. And then for yourself, you'll have your fields here and this will automatically be filled in for you. And so you would just then save that template and then you could use that template immediately or you could go to templates and just hit use. So that's how easy it is to get digital signatures on your contracts. Most people won't be sending more than 25 contracts a month. So you could legitimately use this tool forever for free if you just need the basics. And as your business grows, if you ever need things like branding, bulk sending, more templates or team access, you can always upgrade when you're ready. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. Speaking of which, now here's another tool to take your business growth and productivity to the next level. I'll see you in that video.